Surely you already know that the coronavirus or COVID-19 is a virus. But do you know what kind of living organisms viruses correspond to? They are microorganisms, but not all of them are bad. There are others that are beneficial to humans. We are going to learn about what microorganisms are and the different types of them. Welcome to the fun world for kids! Hello friends! On our planet, we know all the living beings that we can observe with the naked eye, such as animals, plants, fungi and insects. But there are many more living beings that cannot be seen so easily by the human eye because they are so tiny that to observe them, we require a microscope. These are called microorganisms and they are found almost anywhere on Earth. Some of them are beneficial, while others, like viruses, can be harmful to humans, like COVID. Among the microorganisms, most of them are unicellular species. That is, they have a single cell. But we also find some that are multicellular, those with more than one cell. Let's learn about the classification of microorganisms. The bacteria, the virus, fungi and yeasts, and parasites. Let's learn about each one of them. The bacteria. These are unicellular microorganisms which obtain their nutrients from the environment to survive. In some cases, that environment is in the body of a human being. Small bacteria can reproduce inside or outside our body. Some bacteria cause us infections, such as cavities or throat infections. But not all bacteria are bad. Some are good for our body and help us maintain balance. For example, some live inside our intestines and help us use the nutrients in the food we eat and generate waste products. There are also bacteria that scientists use in laboratories to make drugs and vaccines. Interesting, right? The virus. These microorganisms need to be inside living cells to grow and reproduce. Most viruses cannot survive for long if they are not found inside a living being or host, such as a plant, animal, or person. When viruses enter a person's body, they can multiply inside a person and cause illness. Like the coronavirus that is transmitted from person to person when the infected person exhales very small respiratory droplets and particles that contain the virus, such as when they sneeze. These respiratory droplets and particles can be inhaled by other people or deposited in their eyes, nose or mouth. That is why we must wear a mask to reduce the risk of inhaling or breathing these contaminated particles and constantly wash our hands. The fungi. They are multicellular organisms similar to plants, but remember that fungi, unlike plants, cannot produce their own food. That is why they feed on other beings. They love to live in humid and warm places. We can find them almost everywhere on the planet and in all ecosystems, and most of them are not dangerous for people. Yeasts are also a type of fungus, but a unicellular type. Protozoa or parasites. They are single-celled organisms that love moisture and often spread disease through water. Some of them, such as amoeba or worms, cause intestinal infections that cause diarrhea, nausea and stomach pain. Ouch! Remember, to be healthy and avoid microorganisms that harm us, we must wash our hands well and do it several times a day, especially when you cough or sneeze. Before eating or preparing food, after going to the bathroom, 
after touching animals and pets, after playing outside, or after visiting a family member or friend who is sick. Ah, also, make sure you have all your vaccinations up to date and to eat healthily so that your body is always healthy and strong. Thank you for watching our video. Did you like what you learned? Subscribe and find many more videos so you can learn while having fun. You can also watch this video in Spanish on our channel Mundo Divertido de Niños. The link is in the description. Lots of love. Bye-bye.